In today's video, we're going to be talking about one of my personal favorite breeds, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. This is an amazing breed, but with a very bad reputation that I don't believe it deserves whatsoever. And I'm going to tell you exactly why in this video. Welcome back to the Femrear Staffy Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder and CEO of FenrearCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn anything that you could possibly ever want to know about the incredible Staffordshire Bull Terrier and then how to become a high level canine leader that can raise perfect Staffy companions. So if this is your first time here, start this journey with this amazing breed by hitting that subscribe button and turning on the notification bell so that you never miss a future Staffy video. So let's dive into today's video. We're going to go over my top five reasons why I think that you should consider adding the amazing Staffordshire Bull Terrier to your home. But first, I think we need to take a moment here to talk about that bad reputation that I see so often with this breed. Similar to the connotation around pit bulls around the world, the Staffy has that similar reputation here in the UK, and that is that they are a very dangerous, aggressive dog. The reputation comes from the sad fact that these breeds were often used in dog fighting and are trained to be vicious. Now, please remember that this behavior is trained into the breed and not one of their general characteristics of the incredible, loving, devoted breed that actually is is the Staffy. Now Staffies are wonderful canine companions and family dogs when they are raised by calm and consistent canine leaders and that's all they need. So at number one, when well socialized from a young age, the Staffy is capable of being one of the best canine companions with family with children of all ages. They've had another nickname in the past and that is they are a nanny dog because of their incredible temperament around children. Now of course you need to be the leader in your home teaching both children and canines how to behave properly with each other. They receive their nickname as that nanny dog because of their patience and gentleness with young children, whilst also keeping that close eye on them whenever they start to wander off. Now, my fact at number two is that Staffies are a medium-sized dog, but are powerfully muscled and quite capable of defending your home and family. They are compact little garden watchdogs with a big bark and a deep-rooted instinct to protect their family. Now, should you absolutely socialize this breed? Yes, and you need to do that with people and other dogs frequently throughout its life so that they can be a part of the family safely in all situations and environments bit more of a fun reason at number three and that is that the Staffy always looks like they are smiling so it's no surprise that they are an incredibly affectionate breed. Now if you let them they will be more than happy to snuggle up to you on the sofa and in bed and love nothing more than to be with their families at all times. Again when raised together they can be quite affectionate towards people and other dogs as well as other household pets and because they are so loving you'll never have to wonder kind of where they are and they've been wandering off because they'll be with you in whatever room or wherever you are. Now, at number four, if you are looking for a canine companion that has a razor sharp mind and an incredibly loyal heart, then you will find a perfect canine companion in a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Their intelligence and willingness to please allows them to be so easily trained by a calm, consistent leader, and this really reinforces that bond and relationship with their family. Now, because of their intelligence and that gentleness, the breed has found great success as service dogs and emotional support animals all around the world. And my fifth and final reason why I think you should consider getting a Staffordshire Bull Terrier is if you have an active outdoor lifestyle. Staffies do have a lot of energy and will be able to easily keep up with you on hikes, walks, runs, bike rides. And because of their size, they are also very easy to travel with and happy to go anywhere with their families. They will easily settle in for a movie night on the couch just as easily as going out for an all day hike with you. They are an incredibly adaptable and joyous breed. Now, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button. Get involved down in the comment section below if you think we've missed off some more incredible facts about the Staffies that you want to share with everybody in this amazing community. We have two dedicated Staffordshire Bull Terrier videos coming to this channel every single week. So I promise you, if you love the Staffy, then this is the channel for you. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell before you go. And I can't wait to see you on the next episode of the Femrear Staffy Show.